All right, hello there, and welcome to another Starfield video. Today we're taking a look at another mod. This is the Royal Weathers Light by JDL. So this is uh, apparently the number one Starfield weather and climate overhaul on Nexus with over 6,000 downloads for the launch creation kit. Now available on Creations, tested it themselves on Xbox. It works very well without any performance issues. So it's basically, as the, the kind of the title says, uh, it adds a load of different weathers to the game using the vanilla weathers. Um, but kind of improves upon them. So it's supposed to be lore friendly and immersive. Planets that Bethesda did not give weather will continue to not have weather. Planets that Bethesda gave weather will include some planets without atmospheres and magnetospheres. Will continue to have weather appropriate to locations. New weather have been added to volcano regions, Earth, and plenty of other places. There's no inappropriate weather like rain on moons. Hostile encounters are now possible on Earth so that there is something to do while you enjoy the new weather. So I'm assuming... Um, I'm assuming that means that they add stuff to Earth. So what we're going to do is we're going to check it out. Now, this is one of those mods where it might be tricky to figure out um, if it works. This is hopefully this is a situation where I like spend half an hour running around like check out this awesome new weather. And then the comments are like Crimson. That's the vanilla weather. You fucking idiot. Which, if that's the case, please don't bully me. I'm sorry. But, uh, but yeah, we're going to head to Earth because I've been to Earth a few times and I think I can figure out the weather's different. So it adds quite a few new weather types. I don't think it lists it there. It probably lists it on the Nexus, um, which we will check in a minute. Anyway, so... Okay, so Royal Mods Light means the features were removed if not compatible with Creation Kits or Xbox. And the plugin was converted to an ESL flag ESM for this mod setting related. Okay. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. All right. So let's go check it out. We'll be right back. All right. So we landed on Ireland or in Ireland. Um, you can just see there it uh, still exists. Um, there's there's the United Kingdom. We got. England, Wales, Scotland, and then Ireland. For anyone saying, uh, what about Northern Ireland? Uh, go fuck yourself. No, I'm joking. And then we got Northern Ireland. But I, I, yeah, this is, obviously, this is not Ireland, though, because it's just a desert. And so it's freezing rain. Which is pretty, pretty interesting. Oh, there's an abandoned thing over here. Cool. It's raining. It's pretty, pretty, well, pretty much Ireland right now. Except I don't think Ireland has, what is it, rain, is it? Freezing rain. No, nope, that's fucking accurate. Jesus, I didn't even need to look at the map. Jesus. Like, if Ireland actually looked like this, we would not be... Well, we obviously, we wouldn't be living here, because I feel like this is not livable. <laughs> so we'll check out this, and then we'll check out some of the other locations. Oh. Okay, cool. So we'll do a little bit of combat. I'm kind of hoping this will be like the, uh, the mods for Fallout and Skyrim that add, like, really cool inclement weather. But I'm not sure how plausible... That would be... So it's like super windy. Like very windy. You probably might not be able to pick that up. Just because I have the, the kind of the weather audio turned down a little bit. Howdy boys and girls. Oh, oh difficult. Ah, difficult. Doesn't matter. Howdy. Alright, there's a lot of guys inside there. We'll uh, leave them for the moment. Let's look on the map. Okay, so we're let's look for another country. Where we go? Um, 
He's all just one biome by chance. Um, can't fast travel because of combat. Fuck you, game. Hello, Gary. What do you think of my home? What about now? Can I fast travel? Alright, let's go to... Um, is it all just a fucking desert? Oh, it is. Oh, lol. Oh, wait, no. Frozen Plains. Oh, hello. Okay, well, I wanted to go to Sweden. Apparently, there's no Sweden. Is the balls of Scandinavia, the testicles. So there's Sweden. Uh, for some reason, I can't go any further. So we're going to land in Sweden real quick and see if we can get a blizzard. All right, we're going to be right back. I'm going to put down a chair and like wait and see if a blizzard happens. We'll be back. All right, again, just left the ship. It is now snowing, which is really cool. So I will say I was just looking over the um, the actual like the uh, description on the Nexus. And just to confirm before anyone says like, oh, Crimson, like snow is in the game. It is in the game, yes. But what the mod author noticed is that planets generally will like when you land an area, it will kind of frequent between one and two weather conditions. And that's really it. This mod kind of improves upon that and adds like much more. You can see it's snowing, which I I don't know if I've seen it like snowing in this location. I know there is locations where it will snow. So we're currently in Sweden. Let's look for Santa Claus. All right, boys and girls. The objective is to find the North Pole. Oh, where's North? All right, do we think the magnetosphere still works on this planet? Probably not, right? That was the whole point of the game. All right, where's my compass? North. Where's the sun? All right. Plan B, let's split up and look. I'll take this way. Oh, I found some. So we're gonna let's run around a little bit more and then we're gonna check some other planets. We'll go to New Atlantis. I'm hoping for like kind of a thundery storm one. Now I don't know if there is thunderstorms in the game. Assuming there'd have to be, right? Alright, we'll be back. I'm gonna jump to a new planet. All right, so we just landed on New Atlantis, one of its uh, coniferous forests. And it is raining again. Again? I don't... It, 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 it's hard to test this mod, because, like, to be honest with you, I don't really notice the weather, aside from the extremes. I don't know if it normally... Um, I don't know if it, like, normally... If it, uh, sorry, I don't know what... I can see that guy, but I thought I saw a shadow. I don't know if it like if it normally rains on this planet or this is added by the mod, but basically the whole premise behind it, like I was saying, is it just kind of shuffles the uh, the weather to kind of make it more accurate to, you know, instead of it being one or two. But we'll head to an ice. We need to find an ice. Whoa, what is this? Okay. And then, all right, we're going to go, and we're going to look for an ice planet just to see, because apparently on the Nexus it was referencing that ice moons have some cool weather. We'll be back. Okay, so I just landed on Holly, and we've got like a kind of a, like a sandstorm, I think? Which is weird, because this is a frozen world. But that's not on the mod author. Yeah, this is this is like a this is like a really cool mod if you're like if you explore a lot basically like if you're the sort of person where like you don't really explore too much um then probably wouldn't be the mod for you i don't see it having any real issues like the mod author said they've like tested it on xbox and they're going to keep thoroughly testing it um which to be fair is more than a lot of like a lot of creators when they make content they don't have an xbox which is not their fault so they don't get to test it so it's nice that the mod author tests it and stuff 
But yeah, this is like the perfect mod if you want to explore. I'd probably recommend pairing it with some of the like the mods that kind of add extra planet plants and stuff. Like some of the grind terra mods, like the extra extra trees, extra rocks, more livestock, you know, just to make the world feel more alive. I feel like a lot of these mods, the whole kind of premise behind them is to kind of make the world feel more alive. So I'm just going to really quickly uh, go and like kind of read through the description and kind of give you the base. It's just because the um, they do reference going to the uh, Nexus. I'll be right back. All right, so I've got some reading, so get strapped in. So this is the description of the Nexus. So extended description, many plants and locations were set to only display one or two weathers no matter what. I believe Bethesda was most focused on a great first playthrough where you would have a very high chance to see the weather that most fits the theme of the location. Paradises would pretty much all be sunny, Aquila had a 9% chance to be dry, New Atlantis wouldn't have thunderstorms or heavy rain, and unique locations like Lodinium were 100% chance for unique weather. In the case of Lodinium, it's heavy snow. But for me, when I land on the planet, I want to stay there for a while and explore. I like variety. One of my favorite parts of Bethesda games has been weather. With this mod, there is a logical weather variety for all locations. There's a healthy mix of rain, fog, clear, cloudy. Basically, this should make Starfield's worlds behave as you expect from Bethesda game. Nothing more, nothing less. Should be lore-friendly and immersive. Um, planets from Bethesda don't give weather, won't give weather. Um, out of the... Oh, that just scared the living shit out of me. I just heard Simeon move. And I thought there was someone walking behind me in real life. Out of the thousand or so worlds, it appears that Bethesda had some of them do some unique and surprising things of weather. This mod will enhance those existing locations. I did not add weather to moons that logically shouldn't have it. There's an optional file that adds rain and snow to Pluto if you want to see what it'd be like. Um, bu -bu -bum. So, yeah, basically that is it. Um, oh, it shows actually what they did. So they basically, like, tweaked everything. Like the settings, they took the sky, wind rain vegetation water stuff so yeah that's pretty much it like i said i, I do apologize if you, you kind of were expecting me to do like a cool kind of transition because it is hard to kind of compare because like i said while the weather is you know the weather is nice in starfield like that the description of the mod author just said like certain areas are kind of meant to display their unique weather so like i'm not used to kind of seeing things out of you know so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you have been running it and you have any issues, let me know. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. As always, guys, uh, have a good day. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Uh, Say bye, Gary. Bye-bye.